Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Really excited to be sharing this card with you all using the limited edition Stamp Timber exclusive with Art Impressions. Art Impressions has been around for so many years. Their images are just, they're so awesome and they're so funny, especially the girlfriends line. So I was really excited when I saw this set. And to start off with, I am stamping it onto Copic quality cardstock. So Nina Classic Crest 80 pound cardstock. And I'm using Simon's Intense Black Ink to stamp this and my Mini Misty so that I can stamp it a couple times because it's a brand new stamp. And I want to get nice crisp black lines. And then once this is stamped, I am coloring this in with Copic markers. And I am channeling Bonnie Krebs. She does the illustrations for art impressions. And I'm pretty sure I'm almost positive she's the one that colors everything too for like the stamp packaging. Because if you've ever purchased an art impressions stamp set, it comes with a full color image of the stamp. And I love it. I love the style of coloring. It's very, the, the shadows are very defined. It's not blended like we normally do with Copic markers and all that. And I love it. And for whatever reason, I just, I, it's almost like I can't not do that when I'm using an art impressions image. And then when I do it, it's like, I need to do this with other images because I love the look of it. And it's a lot simpler in a sense than using, you know, three and four and five Copic markers. So for this entire image, I'm using two Copics per color, basically. I'm just laying down a lighter color and then I'm going in and adding shadows with a darker color. And I'm doing this completely blind in the sense of not having the stamp packaging because this had was sent to me early to design with. So I don't have the stamp packaging. I'm excited to see it. I wanna see how close I came to the way she places the shadows. Cause that's another thing I like to do. I, I will have the packaging right beside me and I will just follow along on where to place shadows because again, it's things that I would not think of. And anyone who watches my videos, I've said it a million times. I don't really follow light sources, that sort of thing very often. Cause I just can't be bothered. But I tried with this one. <laughs> I was kind of picturing the light coming from the upper right, which is what I do normally anyway. And then trying to add in the starker shadows with just that darker shade of the Copic marker where I think it would be. But again, I'm gonna be excited to see the actual image on the packaging just to see how close I came to it because it's always things I wouldn't think of. Shadows placed where I wouldn't think um, they go further along and it just makes everything, it gives it that dimension and I could rave about this all day. Anyway, <laughs> I colored all of this in with these Copics. I purposely chose to stamp this on white because uh, like this big main snowman, I wanted it to be white. I am going to fussy cut this out, which more often than not is another thing I just don't bother to do because I ain't got the time for that. But I really wanted this image on the white. So the colors were really, really bright and vibrant. And the white was very white of the snowman. Um, after I fussy cut it, I used my Memento Tuxedo black marker, went along the edges of all of the image to coat with that black marker. And it just covers that exposed edge, makes everything look a lot more finished. And it just gives it that little extra something. This took a tiny little bit of extra time as well because there's a lot of tiny little nooks and crannies in here. But it's one of those things where I think it's just worth the effort because I'm gonna place this on top of uh, craft cardstock. And you could totally just stamp it directly on the craft cardstock, color it. Um, this would look amazing stamped on craft and colored with like, colored pencils or Copics, anything like that. But again, I really wanted that vibrant color because if you stamp it on the craft, with this image and then color it with Copics, the obviously the color of the cardstock is gonna come through and it's going to give everything like a different look. And I just, I really wanted that bright, vibrant color. So my craft cardstock is Nina Desert Storm. And I die cut a piece of it with one of Simon's Slimline Nested Rectangle Wafer Dies. And I used my anti-static powder tool and stamped the individual snowflakes from this set onto it with Simon's uh, clear embossing ink. And then I heat emboss them with Simon's Detail White embossing powder. So I've got my little snowflake background. And then I pulled out my Distress Oxide inks in Broken China and Chip Sapphire. 
and I am working on my Simon Grid paper here and I'm basically just pulling the ink from the top of the panel down with one of my Ranger mini ink blending tools letting it kind of fade out the further down I get so I laid down the broken china first and then once I was mostly happy I'm going to pull it down a little bit further in a minute but apply that and then I'm going to apply chipped sapphire on top of it and just not go as far with that just to intensify that color this is another thing, and I say, I say this every time I put oxides on top of Nina Desert Storm cardstock. I love how they look. I love oxide inks on everything, but there's something about how they look on the Desert Storm cardstock. I don't know what it is. I think it's more just like the vibrancy of the ink on the darker cardstock. I don't know. It's just something that I just love. So I went back and forth with these just to kind of get a nice smooth blend. And then I'm going to like hold my image over it, decide to pull down the color just a little bit more. And then once I'm happy with what I've done here, I'm going to take just a, my little microfiber cloth that I use to like clean off my blending brushes and whatnot. And I'm going to wipe this over those snowflakes because they've been heat embossed. They're going to resist the ink. So I'm going to wipe off the ink that was sitting on top of them so that they're nice and crisp and white again. So I've got my little background made. Now I'm going to use some of the sentiments from that set. And I have some black cardstock here in my Mini Misty. And I am going to stamp these sentiments with the same clear um, embossing ink. So anti-static powder tool, brush off the excess. I'm going to ink up these sentiments with the clear embossing ink. Stamp them onto this black cardstock. Once I'm happy with that, I will coat these with that same detail white embossing powder. And then I can melt this with my heat tool. And then off camera, I'm just going to trim these down with my paper trimmer. And that's another thing I like about art impressions is they have a lot of like kind of punny, sometimes snarky, like just funny sentiments. And it just, I love it. Love it. Anyway, card base is more Desert Storm cardstock that I cut to seven inches by eight and a half inches. And I'm scoring it at three and a half. So this will be a three and a half inch by eight and a half inch slimline card. So I scored that with my Teflon bone folder here at the three and a half inch mark and then just really reinforced that fold with the side of the bone folder. And then I'm going to flip it inside out and then put it right back into that mini Misty just to hold the bottom in place because I want to stamp that image again, this time with Simon's cobblestone ink. It's another favorite of mine. This ink on Desert Storm cardstock, it's just meant to be. I don't know. It. I just, I love how it looks. So I inked it up with that cobblestone ink, stamped that onto the inside of the card. And then once I've got that stamp, I'm going to start assembling my card front. So I die cut a frame with the uh, slimline scallop frame wafer dies, just from some more white cardstock. And I'm going to adhere that directly to my card base with some craft tacky glue. So I've got the glue on there, get this centered onto my card base. And then I can adhere my background right over it. So that scallop frame is just kind of peeking out underneath. So I'm going to get that adhered into place again with the craft tacky glue. And then I'll adhere my little snowman and his buddy onto the card front as well. And again, use craft tacky glue for that just to adhere everything nice and flat. Once that's adhered into place, I'll adhere the sentiment. And then I'm also going to adhere the other two sentiments to the inside of the card. So get those adhered into place. The front of the card will say, uh, there's no one like you. And then the inside is to the coolest person I know, have an ice day. <laughs> That's what I mean by punny sentiments. You can always get me with the punny sentiments. So got those adhered into place. And then as a final bit of embellishment, I pulled out my uh, Jane Davenport from Spellbinders, the Storytime paint pens. They're called Snow Queen. There's two white paint pens in this pack. And I love them for Christmas cards. They're perfect and they make it so easy to add snow because I don't have to like draw big blobs with a gel pen. You just, you just press. That's it. It's simple. So I added it pressing harder in some areas and lighter in others. So I got all the different sizes and I went all over this card and on top of the image, everything. That's also why I wanted to use the Desert Storm cardstock because then this would show up really, really nicely on it. So added all that snow. And then I will pair this card with one of Simon's Schoolhouse Red Slimline Open End Envelopes. And that will complete this ensemble. So that's my card for today. 
If you are interested in the supplies used, this limited edition set, which is only while supplies last during September, Art Impressions always sells out quickly, so I highly recommend checking it out. Um, I'll have a link to the set, link to all the supplies I used. You can check that out in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing, thumbs up and commenting. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.